女士们、先生们，我是吴在慈，我是生物医学和中医学双学位课程主任。那在这里呢，我要向大家介绍一下这个课程的内容，还有毕业生的职业展望，以及这个课程的一些特点。那这个课程呢，由于是呃双语的课程，所以我们这这里的介绍。的资料呢，都有中英的对照。那、呃、接下来呢，我会用英语来呃介绍这个课程。那大家有需要的话，可以参考资料上面的中文啊、呃、对照。Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Go Chai Di, director of the double degree program in biomedical sciences and、uh, Chinese medicine. Here I'm going to introduce to you、uh, information on about the double degree program, graduates' uh, uh, career prospects, as well as、uh, the unique features of this、uh, double degree program. This、uh, double degree program is a collaboration between two universities, namely、uh, NTU. And the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine, which is one of the top TCM university in China, and because this program involves、uh, Chinese medicine and、uh, the required、uh, internship training, so other than the teaching schools involved, there will be also、uh, internship、uh, trainings, and、uh, the internship trainings. Uh, at NTU, we handle by the NTU Chinese Medicine Clinic, whereas the internship training in Beijing will be carried out by the Dongfang University, which、uh, again is one of the top integrative university in、uh, Beijing. The objectives of this program consists of、uh, firstly is to educate and train. New generations of、uh, well-informed Chinese medicine, and、uh, who are well versed in、uh, TCM as well as uh, uh, modern、uh, science knowledge, and、um, the graduates will be enabled to promote modernized、uh, Chinese medicine knowledge with、uh, a biomedical science background, and also. The program will enable、uh, graduates to conduct research and development in the field of healthcare and、uh, life sciences, making use of、uh, the Western medicines、uh, as well as、uh, Chinese medicine、uh, in combination. Well, there are this、uh, slide shows the structure of the program.、Uh, the program、uh, all together is five years. For the first three year. Students will study at NTU,、uh, covering subjects in biomedical sciences and、uh, TCM fundamental. Students will also go to a、uh, local uh, the NTU TCM clinic to、uh, have their internship training. In year four and five, students will travel to Beijing and study at the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine. They will. Study further subjects on TCM or、uh, clinical subjects. All right. At the same time, they will go to the Dongfang Hospital to、uh, have the internship uh, uh, training. After completion of the five years, having passed the all the exams, students will get two degrees. One is a Bachelor of Science with honors conferred by NTU, and another degree Bachelor of.、Uh, Medicine in TCM, conferred by the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine. At the end of、um, year five, students will return from Beijing back to Singapore, and then come back to NTU to complete、uh, another four hundred and three hours of local、uh, internship, and、uh, that is to enable them to sit for the local TCM licensing examination. 
uh, if they pass the exam, they will become qualified TCM physician and they can start practice TCM in Singapore. The tuition fee of this program consists of two parts. First part uh, will cover from year one to year three when they study in, at NTU. So uh, the school fee will be payable to NTU. The amount of the fee will range from 8,000 over to 30 over 1,000 uh, on subsidized, depending on the category of a student. In year four and five, uh, the fee will be 35 renminbi per annum, which is uh, roughly about 7,000 sing dollar. And the fee for year four and five will be payable directly to BUCM. Well, there are other relevant information on admission. And because of the uniqueness and a certain restriction on this program, so certain categories of applicants are not eligible to study in this program. Uh, first being uh, those who are China citizens holding Chinese passports, Taiwan residents, Hong Kong or Macau residents. They are not allowed to study in this program. Secondly, those with uh, color blindness uh, as well as a uh, B uh, carrier, they are not allowed to study in this program. Well, um, scholarships, all right, there are quite a number of scholarships available to students in this program. Uh, it also consists of two parts. Uh, part one, uh, covering from year one to three, consists of the usual scholarships offer to university uh, students as well as uh, uh, some scholarships uh, available exclusively only to TCM students. For example, the scholarships offered by the Singapore Chinese Physician uh, Association. And in year four and five, there are also scholarships available to cover the expenses in Beijing. For example, you have the Yuan Sang, uh, scholarship, you have Tong Chai scholarship, as well as um, the scholarship offered by the TCM, uh, BUCM uh, themselves. Other than all this uh, wide variety of scholarships, there are also uh, loans and bursaries available for needy students to apply. TCM uh, being the traditional, but uh, over the year, uh, after so many years of uh, development, it has actually gone beyond traditional and it has actually uh, it has ventured into the world and gaining, gaining more uh, recognition uh, in the world. Some of the important milestones as listed here are indications of uh, wider uh, recognitions of TCM. First of all, in year 2003, World Health Organization, WHO, has officially recognized acupuncture as one of the uh, therapy uh, to treat various types of uh, diseases. Uh, in year 2015, 2UU received the um, Nobel Prize for the invention in uh, Qing Hao Shu, which is uh, actually uh, uh, extraction of uh, items from the TCM herb called worm wolf. And uh, in 2019, uh, which uh, happened only recently, the World Health Organization adopted TCM info into its uh, global companion, uh, CD11. That means TCM diagnostic uh, patterns and uh, diseases are listed alongside other conditions in Western medicines. All right, so other than all this, over the years, we can see more and more recognition and interest in TCM with uh, more and more institutions, universities, colleges setting up TCM program uh, in their organizations. So all these are indications 
that TCMs are gaining more acceptance and wider recognition over time. So I have covered uh, the first part uh, on the cost introduction. Now I'm going to go into the uh, career prospects of our graduates because one, this is one of the important considerations for students before they apply to study in a particular program. Our program, being double degree, consists of uh, covering up the West and the East. And so it actually opened up more options and opportunities for our graduates after they have completed the study. Uh, one main area, of course, uh, being a TCM physician, right? So a number of our graduates practice TCM physician, of course, provided they have um, obtained a TCM license. Other than that, uh, our graduates are able to work in various uh, types of uh, healthcare industries, pharmaceutical industries, or do uh, uh, research in all those related fields, or, or they can actually go uh, into the education sector, be an instructor, teacher, or lecturer in polytechnics, or uh, they can act also do administration in the government or uh, other sectors. And because of the bilingual and a bicultural nature, uh, which uh, enable them to get involved in all those uh, bilateral diplomat projects uh, involving China and Singapore. Here is um, are some statistics to show the distribution of our graduates from the information gathered from our past years. Um, from the numbers, uh, it shows that uh, about one third of our graduates ended up uh, practicing as um, TCM physicians. About 20 over percent has uh, gone into health related industries. Big number work in various sectors, and also we have a small percentage uh, who have gone into further studies, be it uh, further studies in um, Western medicine, or some they have uh, also gone for further studies to pursue master's or PhD in TCM. Well, here I'm going to uh, show you examples of our graduates and, and tell, uh, to give uh, information on where uh, they have ended up after graduation. All right, the uh, first group will be those uh, uh, going into uh, the TCM industries, including one who has, uh, she has actually set up her own uh, TCM clinic uh, chain. And uh, we have another uh, uh, graduate, very successful uh, in the Tongcha Medical Institutions, and another, uh, Alice, Alicia Lim, she works in uh, the big uh, UN Sang Integrative Health Private Limited. So these are a few uh, successful cases. Of course, we have many others, all right, working also very well in the TCM industry. Here we have another group of graduates who are not satisfied with uh, just uh, knowing TCM. They also want to know more about Western medicine. So they have, uh, after they have completed five years, they have gone into the Duke NUS Medical School to study Western medicine. And uh, some of those who have uh, already graduated practicing as uh, Western medical doctors in hospitals, some are still in the process of uh, completing their studies. We have uh, groups of our graduates who are interested in research, so they have gone into various institutions to further their interest in research. So we have uh, one who stay back with the uh, School of Biological Sciences, become a research fellow. We have uh, one in A-Star. We have uh, another example here at NUS. And uh, as I say, these are just uh, three examples. There are also uh, many others who 
either in the same institution or in other research institutions. Just now I mentioned about some of those who have gone into healthcare administration. So these are two examples of uh, people who have gone into healthcare administration, including one who, uh, working in, who is working in uh, MOH, specializing in uh, aging problems. Another one is uh, an agency for integrative care, uh, looking after uh, some of the integration uh, of uh, various types of uh, uh, medications. We have uh, also a group of graduates who are more entrepreneurial, right? So they have actually uh, ventured into the business area and making good use of uh, technology uh, knowledge. One example being uh, Zhang Yichong, who is one of the earlier batch uh, graduates who has uh, invented a robot to perform Tui Na to help the physicians. And uh, he is uh, now trying to make further improvement to the robot, so to make it uh, more efficient. And he has also set up his chain of uh, TCM clinic making use of the, uh, his invention. Uh, we have uh, another uh, graduate who uh, gone, has gone into mass media, the social media, set up a website to, to provide all kinds of uh, medical information. All right, so these are two examples of uh, those who have ventured into a business area uh, with technology. So just now I've uh, covered the career prospects and also have shown you some of the examples of our graduates who are currently working in various sectors uh, successfully. Uh, the next thing I'm go going into is to again look at the unique features of our uh, double degree program. Well, having gone through the, uh, the introductions and then the career prospects, well, you probably will have realized that uh, unique features of this program, uh, including, first of all, it is a bilingual program. All right, because the biomedical sciences subjects are taught by NTU with English, and the TCM subjects are taught by BUCM in Chinese. So students are becoming effectively bilingual. And uh, it is uh, East and West uh, integration, consisting of uh, le uh, knowledge from the biomedical sciences as well as uh, TCM. And at the end of the study, they'll get two degrees from two reputable universities one from NTU, another one from the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine. And last but not least, those who have passed the licensing exam will become a fully qualified Chinese physician and they can practice TCM in Singapore. Other than those uh, unique features that I've introduced just now, uh, this program has a number of um, enrichment programs specially organized and cater exclusively to students in this program. And all these uh, enrichment programs are heavily subsidized, meaning that um, students will only pay a small token to participate in this program. One of the enrichment program is the Anhui study trip to Anhui to study Chinese medicine. So during that trip, students will get to see how herbal medicines are planted, cultivated, processed, and then traded in the wholesale market, as well as uh, how uh, retails are being done. In addition, students will, get, uh, will also have the opportunity to travel into the mountain to see the natural habitat of uh, where some of these um, herbal medicines are grown 
in a natural environment. So this is a very interesting and enrichment and rich program where for students to get a full comprehensive understanding of uh, Chinese medicine. And, uh, next is uh, we have a trip to Hong Kong and Macau. This is to, for students to participate in a Chinese medicine conference all right, in Hong Kong and also to uh, travel to various uh, institutions and uh, organizations, uh, TCM related in uh, Hong Kong and Macau to understand the industry and the setting of uh, TCM in those areas. Other than that, we also organize uh, different uh, internship uh, trainings at different parts of China. For example, we also organize an uh, internship for students to go to Guangzhou University of Chinese Medicine. Uh, this one being in the south of China uh, as compared to Beijing, which is in the north. And uh, as we know that different area, different location and different uh, weather condition would have a lot of implications on uh, TCM, uh, be it for diagnostic, be it for treatment, all right? And other than Guangzhou, we sometimes also organize internship opportunity to a different other type, other parts of China. Well, um, other than the extra internship opportunities in China, we also uh, have uh, arrangement for our students to uh, go to various uh, TCM institutions uh, or clinics uh, locally so as to uh, enable them to have a wider exposure to different types of patients different types of uh, diseases uh, in Singapore. And besides that, we also organize our in-house TCM Qigong program, right? That is to uh, help students build up, to take care of uh, their health, health and then uh, to make them healthier while they have a busy study schedule. At the same time, all these Qigong uh, programs, most of them has got close association with the TCM uh, knowledge, concepts, and uh, theories. So that uh, uh, participation in the program would enable them to have a better integration of uh, TCM knowledge from uh, different aspects so as to uh, acquire a comprehensive and holistic uh, understanding of TCM. And uh, other than that, uh, from time to time, we'll organize uh, other types of program depending on the uh, condition. But um, I must qualify by saying that these uh, enrichment programs has been suspended in the past one year obviously because of a COVID uh, pandemic, all right? So we have to wait till the pandemic is over and uh, only when the conditions are allowed, then we can continue to offer this program again. Another uh, unique feature of this program is that uh, the graduates uh, would have more flexibility in their career planning. Firstly, being that uh, they can move from the east to the west, they can move from uh, biomedical sciences to TCM, and if they don't want to practice TCM full-time, they can actually uh, practice uh, on part-time basis, either for uh, supplementary income or doing community service by providing uh, voluntary uh, services to the charity uh, TCM clinics, uh, there are many of those uh, in Singapore. So and in, uh, during their career life, at any point in time, the diversity of their knowledge possessed would allow them to make career switch at any point in time more easily. Other than all this, last but not least, uh, types of uh, TCM knowledge 
that uh, they have acquired would be beneficial to them for a long, long time. So as we know that uh, TCM are good in preventive healthcare, in the building up uh, body immunities, making a person uh, stronger and for longevity, all this, right? So all this knowledge will be very useful to the graduate himself or herself, as well as his families and uh, his uh, friends or people of his acquaintance or to service the whole community. So these are about all that uh, I am going to introduce here. I hope the presentation can give you brief understanding of what uh, this course is about and uh, what uh, I expected in terms of a career choice and what are the some of the unique features of uh, this uh, double degree program. And uh, after this, we will probably organize other types of activities for potential uh, applicants, uh, students who are interested in this pro program. And uh, you are welcome to participate in all those activities uh, and ask further questions. Or meanwhile, if you have any other questions that you want to ask us, please drop us an email, uh, either in English or Chinese. We'll be most happy to answer your questions. And uh, so that's all. And I thank you very much for your attention.